13 on your side weather deck is brought to you by Montel Construction. Quality made simple. I feel like I'm always like wearing my jacket to work, Aaron, like kind of clutching to it because I really never know where we're going in one single week here in West Michigan. Being here for four months, I just never know where we're going. And I'm hoping that is going to get a little bit better. Yeah, I'm hoping so too. Yeah, it's been an unusually wet, unusually cool start to summer across the area. Uh, right now we're seeing some sunshine behind me. However, we do have some rain to get to this afternoon. That, that's something we've seen a lot recently, and that's why the weather ball is blinking bright. We've got rain in sight. This site brought to you by Countryside Greenhouse of Allendale. Uh, partly sunny in Grand Rapids, 72 degrees. West winds at 5 and time lapse over Fremont, Michigan. We've seen a little light rain in Nuego County as well, but uh, we're looking at uh, relatively dry air at the surface. We're noticing uh, dew point numbers in the 40s and 50s, and then air temperatures well above that. And so as this precipitation is falling in this column of air, a lot of it is uh, evaporating before it reaches the ground. This is what we call virga. So a little more bark than bite to this radar image. The center of the storm and the rain that's leaving Madison and Milwaukee, that's where we have the better chances for seeing a shower or two, but that starts to arrive after four o'clock. In the meantime, right now, just some light rain in parts of Nuego and Lake counties, uh, Mason and Oceana counties. We've seen some light rain in the last hour, but again, this can be a little deceptive as a lot of this is falling apart before it reaches the ground. And then as you travel south, things are looking real nice. Uh, some sunshine in Kent, Ottawa, and Ionia and Montcalm counties. Plenty of sunshine, mostly sunny, in fact, between Kalamazoo and Battle Creek. Uh, and with the sun, we're in the mid 70s in Detroit and Port Huron, much cooler to the north of a front in the mid 50s. That is chilly stuff for mid June. West Michigan numbers, big range from east to west, 75. Uh, in Detroit, 76 in Kalamazoo with clear skies and clouds and rain. Big Rapids, you're getting rained on 63 degrees, 67 in Fremont. So we've basically endured below average temperatures since the first of the new year. And we're kind of stuck in that pattern here almost to the end of June. This is going to take us from June 20th to the 26th, while the southeast and the west are going to continue to cook. The Great Lakes region in West Michigan, generally speaking, will remain average to cooler than average during this time frame. So the typical heat and humidity we tend to see this time of year is nowhere to be seen in the next two weeks or so. The scattered showers will begin to fill in across West Michigan after four o'clock. Here's the best chances for rain and maybe a rumble or two of thunder late tonight and early Thursday morning. And then notice these tightly packed lines of equal pressure uh, along and behind a cool front. Winds are going to really start to pick up. That's going to push some gigantic waves on shore. And with lake levels near record highs, the concern is still there for beach erosion and coastal flooding. So a lot of the communities up and down the lake shore are paying close attention to this forecast. Skies eventually clearing Thursday night and then Friday will finally get a break. But late Friday night, unfortunately, we're tracking more rain and some of this lingers into your weekend. So Lake Michigan forecast southerly winds today are going to pile up the highest surf on our northern beaches. However, winds are going to turn around to the northwest tonight, tomorrow, and that's going to mean five, six, seven footers potentially tomorrow from about Holland south. I wouldn't be surprised to see some kind of advisory. We'll likely see small craft advisories up as a result and then water temperatures in the 50s and 60s. So relatively cool lake temperatures right now. Uh, that's not surprising. Your 13 on target forecast. Scattered showers developing, becoming a little more widespread as the evening goes on. Showery, breezy, and ridiculously cool. Tomorrow, low 60s, that is well below average. And uh, oh, by the way, the record coolest high temperature tomorrow in Grand Rapids is 59. So we're going to be close to that record. Scattered showers developing Friday night and Saturday. Sunday looks like the drier of the two weekend days. And we're back in the upper 70s to around 80 by late next week.